Oh, good morning, everybody. Oh, God, it's freezing in here today. I put the kettle on. I'm going to get myself a pot noodle for dinner. Friggin' rice. You know, if pot noodle want to sponsor me, just send a load of chicken and mushroom pot noodles here. Uh, yeah, so it's approaching lunchtime. It's about 11.50. I didn't pick up the camera straight away this morning because I finished off the ladies' toilet door. Check this out. I'm really f freaking pleased with how both of these have turned out. The ladies and the gents. So I'll just unhook you and I'll show you a few of, uh, of the stars that we've put on the timber. So these two doors now are ready for varnish. I must say, I think they're some of the coolest toilet doors I've ever made <laughs> or, or seen. So coming up with a proof of concept last week when Craig was here and we made these which were initially going to be fixed onto the doors, uh, within a week the idea has evolved into something that I think looks pretty artistic and I know certainly in Retford is unique, nobody's got anything like this. You watch, every other pub in Retford tends to copy what I do anyway, so give them five minutes and they'll all be doing this, you watch them. So, uh, yes, check it. Bit of varnish for these bad boys now, and then uh, we'll see how they dry up. Smooth them down a bit, put on all the hardware, and then hang them. I don't think I'm going to get a chance today, like I say, I've only got sort of three hours before I have to go and pick this Luton van up to trek across to pick up some tanks. Uh, from Liverpool, yes we're going to Liverpool, so uh, the plan is get as far as possible with these as I can um, and then we'll hang them another day. Don't know what to put on the backs though, obviously the back of the doors are just well, the back of the doors. Do they need anything on the back? Probably not, I could just probably hang, hang a mirror or something on the back of them. Not that even it needs that, but on the outside I think, man, I'm really chuffed with that. Really, really chuffed with that. I hope you can hear me when I'm over there. Yes, and I like, I put a little bit of colour in the ladies as well, I don't know if you notice the red lips and stuff like that. Freaking right, pot noodle time! <laughs> I must admit I can't say I'm disappointed to be leaving the brewery today. It's so cold in here, I am actually, even with two coats on, shaking my knackers into a knot. So uh, yeah, it's about half past two. I'm gonna go and grab something to eat. Gotta go and get some forms of ID driving license and that kind of jazz. We'll scoot across to works up Van Hire and pick up the big van. Right then, let's go, let's go. That a little bit on, won't it? Yeah. Shouldn't go anywhere that. It's nice and tight on top there. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh my goodness. It's bloody awful out there. So we've got the van, as you can tell. Turn the radio off. Uh, we've just had to put uh, the barrow truck, whatever it's called, pallet truck. Uh, so now I'm just going to go and fill up with diesel. And then that's it, I'm going to wrap it up for the day. Because it's absolutely miserable out here. So chances of me uh, getting much more vlog footage are slim. And I've got to be up for 7 o'clock in the morning. Well, we've got to be on the road for 7. So the best thing for me to do now is uh, say ciao. See you tomorrow, folks. And, uh, well, we'll see you when we're on the road. Friggin' right. Five fermenters.